welcome again now we were uh, initially discussed about the staphylococcus and we are on page 136 usmle step 1 2021 and we were discussed we have already completed the discussion in the previous lecture about the staphylococcus species now we are talking about the streptococcus species the streptococcus if you remember uh, the same uh, chart uh, diagram where we have tree diagram where we have seen that gram positive cocci gram positive cocci catalyst positive it goes to the staphylococcus group catalyst negative it goes to the streptococcus group in the streptococcus we have seen the partial hemolysis group that has the streptococcus pneumonia and viridens streptococci there was a complete hemolysis group which has got streptococcus pyogen and streptococcus galaxy and there was a no hemolysis group which have the enterococcus species and enterococcus then streptococcus bovis the same information like a partial hemolysis optic interest and bile solubility test then basitracin test differentiating streptococcus from streptococcus galaxy and growth in the 6.5 percent nsl that difference differentiate enterococcus from the streptococcus bovis the same information can be applied in a detail with what are the infection that caused by this streptococcus species and if you know the streptococcus pneumonia is the gram positive alpha gram positive obviously alpha hemolytic that was also in the tree gram lancet shaped diplococci okay so if you see the diplococci is like this and it has like a small uh, like a tail so it is a lancet shape okay encapsulated this is a capsulated organism has a iga protease protease and optogen sensitive and bile soluble so initially if you remember if you remember this all this information from the previous uh, like previous phase this is catalyst negative alpha hemolysis streptococcus pneumonia that is sensitive to bile and optogen so same form information is there okay now we we were talking about this okay so it is a gram positive alpha hemolytic lancet diplococci encapsulated I, iga protease i'll come to that it optogens and bile sensitivity and this is the disease that mainly cause are meningitis otitis media pneumonia and sinusitis so this encapsulated and iga protease this has the two very me medically important uh, significance you can say they are virulence factor so it is a capsulated organism since it is a capsulated it inhibits the phagocytosis also it has a one another important protein that is the iga protease i'll again repeat, repeat this iga protease is very important because if you see your immune system your own body all the mucosa it may be the mucosa of your gi tract it may be the mucosa of the respiratory tract it may be the mucosa of your genital urinary tract any tract that all have this iga proteases helps to this all this track has the immunoglobin a is l laid over there there is a lining of immunoglobin a inside your all this mucosal membrane they are from the paste a protective layer in all the this um, mucosal surfaces if a bacteria that has the iga proteases means they can break down the this immunoglobin a layer they can break down that they can bypass that they can buy the enzyme this immunoglobin a so if the immunoglobin a is break down then then our epithelial surface is now exposed to this bacteria so any bacteria which contains the immunoglobin a proteases they are usually causing infection in our respiratory tract in our gi tract in every genital urine tract because they can easily now bypass the protective layer of paste of immunoglobin a because they can break down the immunoglobin a so immunoglobin a protease break down this uh, protective layer and then exposed to our epithelial cell and then easily cause a disease even though it has capsulated so it will prevent the phagocytosis and will suffer with the pneumonia and other diseases like meningitis pneumonia otitis media and sinusitis so the disease is responsible is pneumonia otitis media sinusitis and meningitis you can remember with the formula mops meningitis otitis media pneumonia and sinusitis okay pneumococcus is associated with the rusty sputum patient with hypoesplenia or asplenia no virulence without capsule so this information is saying that without if it is not capsulated then this bug is not very much harmful to us so this is no virulence without capsule so it, if it is capsulated then only it is responsible for causing the disease to us the above point is if a patient develop the pneumonia due to the streptococcus pneumonia the patient will develop rusty sputum that is, is important if, a, if any, any scenario giving you a, a patient having the rusting sputum then you have to understood they are talking about this streptococcus pneumonia okay so pneumococcus is associated with rusty sputum patient with hypoesplenic or asplenia 
any patient who have absent of spleen or there is hypoplasia of the spleen this is or splenectomy patient in that condition this capsulated organism has a propensity to get infection more and more repeatedly so you need to get vaccinated if any person is getting splenectomy due to any reason due to any pathological condition if a patient has to remove the spleen they need to vaccinate this against this capsulated organisms like streptococcus pneumoniae and other as well like hemophilus and plesi type b okay now coming to the viridens streptococci viridens streptococci is a group of organism that is responsible for the alpha this is gram positive okay the same group of organism alpha hemolyticoci optocin resistant so the difference between this and this is that they are optocin sensitive this is a person resistant and bile insoluble so opposite to that normal flow of the oropharynx they are normally present inside your oropharynx streptococcus mutans and mitans cause dental caries so if you talk about the streptococcus mutans and mitis they are responsible for the dental plague dental infection dental caries whereas there is another species in this viridis group that is known as the streptococcus sanguinis that makes dextran and bind to the fibrin platelet aggregates on a damaged heart valves causing subacute bacterial endocarditis so if any patient is developing subacute bacterial endocarditis then in that case you have to think that if they have gone any dental surgery dental procedure then this streptococcus sanguinis will enter into that side of your blood and then goes to in your heart valve and then cause the that makes the dextran that helps to bind the, the fibrin platelet aggregates and the damaged heart valve and form the vegetation and develop the infective endocarditis. So the streptococcus viridens, they are not, they are not responsible for many diseases in the human body. They are only responsible for causing the dental plagues and infective endocarditis. That is subacute. If you are talking about the acute endocarditis, that is aggressive form is due to Staphylococcus aureus. Thus, this lower group of organism lower risk organism less virulent organism is responsible for subacute bacterial endocarditis and this is due to the species called streptococcus sanguinis how we can differentiate you can remember even above tree catalyst negative gram positive cocci catalyst negative belongs to the streptococcus group in streptococcus group let me go, go over there Catalyst negative, cocci, catalyst negative, streptococcus group. In streptococcus group, there is alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha B hemolysis, there is two groups streptococcus viridens, streptococcus pneumonia. Pneumo is optocin and bile soluble, while as viridens are group are bile and optocin resistant. So they are alpha hemolytic group. So we have talked about this alpha hemolytic group. We'll talk about the beta hemolytic in the uh, in the next this is bias in the next lecture. So let me clear over here. This is responsible for a dental plague and infective endocarditis that is subacute. Sub Viridens groups strep live in the mouth because they are not afraid of the chin. So this is the formula of to chin resistant. So of the chin, they are not afraid of the chin. So they are trying to make a synonyms to remember this. So they are up to chin resistant. Sanguinis means blood that is equal to blood. There is things there is a lot of blood in the heart to remember which species is responsible for infective endocarditis and that is streptococcus sanguinis. This this box seems to be very easy while we are discussing, but there will be a scenario and a question about it. So you need to get clear. If you have any problem, if you have any question, if you are not understanding, you can comment in the link below in this video below, and I'll able to answer any question if you have.